Okay, so here we are with the ultimate scalper A. Now, this is a good example of why you need to have a bit of a more in-depth look when you get a MyFX book system um, that you want to investigate. So let's have an initial look at this system, and it seems like it's pretty good. Like we look at the equity graph, and it's a lovely straight up curve and we think this is looking really really good there's 72 percent return this looks like something that um, will do quite well but once you start peeling away the layers on it um, we'll find that this system is actually very poor and will very likely not work in a live situations for a number of reasons so the first thing we're going to look at is just the general statistics. So as I mentioned, 72% return, a drawdown of 33.5%. Now that's interesting because there's actually two lines on here. There's a red line and then there's a yellow line. We can't see the yellow line, but the yellow line is meant to be the equity line. Now, my FX book will only show that yellow equity line at points in time where it uh, records another... Uh, data point or another day's worth of um, trades and in this case it seems like any drawdown is intraday so it, it occurs within the same day so we're not seeing any drawdown really reported um, in the graph because of the fact that all the drawdown occurs within one day and it's quite a substantial drawdown like it's 33 percent so a third of the account has been drawn down so far um, and then when across the bottom here you can see the lot sizes and one would assume that the drawdown occurred uh, around this period here where there's the maximum amount of lot sizes and at that point the account had grown about 11 percent but we'll come back to this in a second we'll come down and have a look and see what else this uh, system can tell us so we come down here and we find um, the various statistics but the good one to look at first is the summary just to find out what it is that this system's doing so it's trading on two instruments here the euro usd and gold now the first thing that jumps out when we look at these statistics is the number of trades so overall there's six and a half thousand euro usd trades and there's 2800 gold trades now the next thing that jumps out is that the profit is positive and the pips are negative. So what that's telling us is that it's using a martingale system because that's the only way possible where you could actually lose pips but still make a profit. So this is quite a heavy martingale system because it's, um, it's barely making any movement and it's making profit out of it. So we know that at least the Euro USD is um, a martingale it's less um, less obvious what gold is doing um, we got positive pips here which is probably likely to say that it's at least a grid if not a martingale that sort of generally is making money and then only occasionally needs to go into higher lot sizes but it seems that you could say that the euro usd is a hundred percent definitely a martingale and the gold one is more likely to be a grid but that doesn't preclude it being a martingale either so we come down um, to the duration and so as we look at the duration this is only the last 200 trades so that is and we look up here um, where's the trade number 614 trades in a week so this is about two days worth of trades and you can see that in the past two days there's been quite a number of trades that have lasted sort of 10 to 12 hours the losing ones um, and then as you come back down towards the middle we see these bigger ones down the bottom and they're the martingale trades so as it's opened up it's opened up bigger trades that have lost more money down here so at the start it's open smaller and then as it's gotten into more and more trouble it's opening bigger and bigger trades now as it's come along it's opened this trade here this trade here and then this trade here and now it's closed out at an overall profit between all these trades all the way along here 
but it's taken 12 hours to do it and the last trades the last three trades made up for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 it's hard to say maybe 20 20 trades before these last three pulled it back into profit so you can see there that once it gets into problems it very quickly starts to really ramp up its martingale um, if we look at the MAE we can see it as well so these are this is the pips that it's losing down here and you can see the nice straight line so that's it opening more and more trades so it started off here with the first trade that by the time it closes has lost the most amount of money um, and then it's it's opening trades all the way up here and then these ones right at the top here will be the ones that closed out the um, the martingale system so the problem with martingale systems is of course eventually they're going to break so if you just use a classic martingale um, we have 2 4 8 16 32 so that's five steps to get to our 33 percent drawdown that is recorded now after 32 you go 64 bust so you've got seven steps before your account dies in this particular example and at 33 percent it's used up five of them so it's five sevenths of the way to busting and in this account so really it's only a matter of time before this thing fails it's been going since january so it's been going january and february and then one week further on um, so what we're going to find is over time this thing is almost guaranteed to bust if it's in the first couple of months it's worked it's gone five sevenths of the way to busting it's only going to take something slightly more unusual than what it's already seen for it to bust out now this is currently run on a demo we can see it listed up here and we come down and we see our expectancies at seven pips now that seems all right and, and a seven pip expectancy isn't too bad except when you consider that gold operates at a pip level 10 times bigger than currencies so effectively a 10 pip value in gold is equivalent roughly to a one pip uh, value in currencies so then that takes the expectation down quite a bit from seven pips down to one-ish pips i mean it depends on how they're all balanced out but the point is that that expectancy is a lot a lot lower um, because of the fact that it's gold is 10 times bigger so what's happening then with those combined things so we've got an exceptionally low expectancy we're using a demo account so when you trade on a real account once you get above a small account size you come into a number of different um, issues that you don't get in a demo account so you get perfect trades in a demo account but in live there is actually a market that you're interacting with and you're the supply and demand in it so how many positions are there for you to take so you you'll often get slippage so you request the trade to be taken it goes off to the broker the broker accepts it it comes back to you the difference in that price between what you trigger at to make your decision and what you get filled at is your slippage so sometimes it can be positive but usually it's negative once you get up to sort of bigger accounts um, that slippage can be far more important and far more of a consideration than your actual spread is. So in this system's case, once it started, starts to trade any significant amount, probably even the amount of the, the demos on, it's going to see some slippage. And if its expectancy is so low that it starts to see slippage of even half a pip, then that's going to wipe out a whole heap of its profits especially if it's trying to its last positions are exceptionally big and they're looking to gain an exceptionally small amount of money 
um, we don't have the account open on this one so the history is closed so we can only sort of estimate what's what's going on um, but the average win is only about six pips so if it ends up slipping one of those big trades and it's only taking out a small amount of pips profit um, then that's a big chunk that's going to be lost because you're relying on those very small amount of pips at a very big lot size to make up for all the losses previously that this system has made so once you run this live it's going to slip away all the profits um, and then depending on how it's coded when it closes mt4 is not the best at closing martingales it'll close them one at a time so you say close all trades and it'll close one close the next close the next close the next close the next and that take closing 20 trades can take a number of seconds to do in which time your price can start moving again on you and you've already kicked off your algo to close them so that's another point where you can actually get worse trades than you expected so so far we've found that the system's actually got negative pip expectations it's come five sevenths of the way to dying its expectation expectancy of pip value means that come live trading it's going to slip away all its profits and struggle to make a, a line that looks like um, it does on this on this graph and then on top of all those things you've got the fact that martingales eventually lose so you cannot escape the market the market will always catch you and it will catch you either by you take a number of small losses and then hope that your wins and your small losses counteract or you can do what you're doing here and never take a loss effectively by basketing up your losses with high lot size trades and then eventually when the market catches up to you you will have one huge loss that crashes your whole account so while this looks really tempting it won't work live and even if it did work live, the fact that it's a martingale means that even at a 33% drawdown, it's more than two thirds of the way to crashing. Two more trades and that, that system is likely to have been busted within a couple of weeks of starting. So when you look at these MyFX books graphs and you see a straight line, be very, very wary. If something's too good to be true, chances are it probably is. Pull back the curtain, have a look at what the statistics are telling you, and don't fall for martingales because they'll work for a bit, but eventually they always fail. There's not one that keeps going and going and going for a long period in which a sizable account has performed well on it now there's some that use some tricks and some um, and some uh, tomfoolery to get through it and if you know of them comment down in the thing and I'll have a look at them um, maybe there is one that I don't know about and I'm more than happy to highlight it if there is one and say wow look at this a martingale that's gone for years so yes if you know of any accounts or even any other my effects books you'd like to have a look at jump down below or jump on our tiptoe hippo website uh, join our discord and paste them there and we'll have a look at them and see if we can analyze what's going on under their hood but until next time green pips and i hope you all do well trading bye